and what I want to show now are some of the carrying devices that we have in our collection here at the Music Library and Sound Recordings Archives. Uh, some of the most common, and most of them because the most popular the most popular size of 78s with most, which had most of the popular music on them would have been the 10 inch 78. So I'd say about 90% of the carrying cases, 90 to 95% of the carrying cases are, are designed to hold and carry uh, 10 inch 78 RPM records. And you know, they, if you know it's a portable carrying case because it has a handle, you're gonna carry it to wherever you're gonna go. And this one here opens up, and inside you can put in your records, and then you have again, like you had with the cylinder, uh, the cylinder carrier, a place where you could write the information of of your contents. But it seems like it's a it's a sort of a permanent type of situation because once you write these in the only way you're going to change it is by maybe sticking another piece of paper over it or if you did it in pencil you would erase all these names or name and and replace whatever you had put in there now this is a fairly old carrier and we also have some of the Newer carriers, here's one here, I think this is a newer carrier. Now this is, a, this is designed to carry more 78s because here you would have the handles on the side and if you notice it has a larger carrying area and it was owned by somebody named Meyer. You could do anything you want. We have many of these carrying cases that are hand designed by the owner themselves. It doesn't just say records on it. It has maybe a picture of their favorite artist or, or just identified with a name, Meyer. And when you open it up, not only do you have the list of the artists and songs here, but you, and numbers, you also had all the dividers so that you had every record stored inside and then you even had a separate index card that you could drop inside. So this was quite a nice item except if you can imagine this was designed to hold 50 records. 50 78's made out of shellac in a box this size was mighty heavy and you had to have two handles in order to haul this around. Now let's see if we can find another one. Here we have one that's a little more substantial. This one here is a newer one, much newer one. Had the one latch on the front. And look at the, all of the wonderful divider cards and index cards inside. And this, this would take a little bit more of a beating than the cardboard ones. And this, of course, was an offshoot of the original record industry, and you can imagine how many different companies made these. I've seen hundreds and hundreds of models of record carriers.